and she's walking around. I sit there with my spray bottle, and when she's walking around, I make sure all her feet are on the bottom so I see her whole yeah. top yeah. of her body. And yeah. when I see her, I just go like that. Uh -huh. That's all I do. Okay. Because otherwise you can drown her. Yeah. And then we just want to get her wings wet. If her wings are wet, she won't fly. Yeah. And then when you release her... Uh -huh. Now, do you, you do you recommend the direct release or the marshmallow well, release? Well, you can do it either way. I would remove this. And okay. This. So then when you do that, the way I do it uh -huh. is... I do it this way. When you're gonna release her, I yeah. hold the cage like this with my fingers pinching the screen closed, yeah. and I dig this underneath this staple right here. I'll dig it under a staple, yeah. pop the staple out, and I still hold the screen down. Yeah. Then what I do, I get my, I get ready, and I get down next to the frame like this, uh -huh. and I'll take my other finger, holding it down, and I hold my fingers back like this. Okay. When she's down on the wood again, wait till she's down on there, just be patient, she'll be down on the wood. Uh -huh. Then I pull that back, and I hold it against the frame and you can turn it like that and when you see her two front feet touch that foundation uh -huh. just lower it down just that subtle little bit yeah. she'll crawl right out every time if you just hold it there she'll be crawling out crawling in crawling around everything a lot of times when she, you let her out she'll sometimes she'll circle and go down like this but sometimes she starts coming up like this and she'll come up near the top so right when you release her and you see her she's coming up you want to try to get a frame in right away and put it up against there, then it gets dark, and then she won't come up any is higher. Is the marshmallow around. method is safer? It's easier, yes. And, and well, yeah, if you're going to do it with the marshmallow, uh -huh. there's a little cork in here. Yeah. I remove and she's cork. pacing back and forth. You have a little nail with you. Yeah. And when she's walking away from there, you take that nail and push it into that cork, uh -huh. and then pop it out when she's walking away, so we don't accidentally impale yeah. her with the nail. Yeah. Pop out the cork, cover your finger uh -huh. with that. Then take your marshmallow, when she's walking away again, you stick that little marshmallow in there. Okay. Okay, then, then what you do, I usually dip it down, get some bees to cover this uh, um, cage. Yeah. yeah and then, she, then they'll keep her warm. And then I just put all the frames back in, straighten this thing out here, uh -huh. take and put that right in between there and push all of the frames tight together, uh -huh. just like that, and then just let off. And the how long it will take her to eat the marshmallow? The marshmallow, about three hours. Because yeah. the marshmallow is very soft. The, uh, the workers will eat it. Oh, and, and they'll all be working on it because they want to release her. So they'll do everything they can to get that obstruction out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I think that's safe. Yeah, that, then she won't fly on you. And it works good. <laughs> works every time.